Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today we'll be working on rest and recovery and repairing the muscles that we've been taxing and tearing throughout the weeks. So we'll be doing a 10 minute active and dynamic stretch kind of flow. And all you have to do is follow along and enjoy it as we go through the motions. So first things first, let's come down to the mat and we're gonna come into a tabletop position. So your knees and feet are hip width distance apart. Release those hands below the shoulders. And we are gonna get started. What I want you to do is take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, release that head down towards the mat. Tuck your tailbone underneath and feel that stretch out in the back. We're just gonna hold it here for a second. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, release that head facing up and gently press your tailbone towards the ceiling. And now stretch that neck and look towards your right for me. Hold here for a second and over to the left. Now face the front and back into that nice straight line. So pop up onto your toes into a high plank, squeeze those abs in and come into a downward dog, sending those hips towards the ceiling. Now gently press your heels down towards the mat, pedaling out the legs and stretching out the calves. Now this is a really good one for stretching the legs out as well as the upper body, so just enjoy it. And let's pedal it for three, and two, and one. All right, take a breath in and come back into that high plank for me. Now gently squeeze your elbows in towards the waist, coming down towards the mat, tuck those toes under, come all the way down, and lift up through the chest, facing forward. Great job, feel that stretch in the abs, tuck those toes back underneath, into that high plank, into the downward dog, take a breath in, and let's take that one more time to that high plank, squeeze the elbows in, come down, release those feet towards the mat, lift up through the chest, and come into a child's pose with those feet on the sides of your mats, release that butt all the way down, release the head, release the shoulders, and gently stretch those arms out in front just a little bit longer, hold here, and exhale, take a breath in, and as you do, come back up into that high plank position for me, into that downward dog. Now gently bring that right leg in front, and you're going to gently release down on it. So relax that other leg down, relax that foot, into that pigeon pose, squeeze those abs in. You're going to feel the stretch out in the back of your glute. Now if you want, you can even come down a little bit lower, see how that feels. It might feel a little bit different to you depending on where your muscle soreness is. So hold it here for three, two, one. Take a breath in and come back into that high plank, sending that leg back into a downward dog. And as you come down, bring that left leg forward this time and gently come down. How does this feel, everybody, compared to the last few workouts we've done? It feels good, right? So come down forward if you want to. Totally optional. Whatever feels good to you in the moment, this is your day to relax and recover. And hold it here for three, two, one. Take a breath in. Back into that high plank. Back into the downward dog. And as you come forward, bring that right leg in front and take it into a low lunge bringing your hands to heart center. Now release that elbow across the right knee and extend those arms nice and wide, stretching out towards the ceiling and feel the stretch in the outer thigh as well as the back of your arm. Take a breath in, bring those hands back towards the center, face the front for me and open that chest up, release any tension there and gently bring your right arm to your left foot and pull very lightly to feel that stretch out in the calf. Squeeze those abs in, tuck those hips under, and hold for three, two, one. Release that foot down, breathe in, and as you breathe out, just come back to that high plank for me, back to that downward dog, and we're gonna extend that left leg in front this time, and come gently into that low lunge. Those hands come to heart center, the right elbow across the left knee, and open those arms nice and wide. Hold here, stretch out towards the ceiling, elongate, let go of anything negative that isn't serving you today, and bring those hands back towards the center, and come and face forward for me, squeezing those abs in, and you're going to extend those arms in front, 
and just open that chest. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, lift up a little bit. Bring that left arm to that right leg and gently pull down. If your balance is a little bit off, just tuck those hips under a little more and squeeze those abs in a little tighter. And hold here for three, two, and one. Release that foot down and come back into that downward dog for me. So back with those hips up towards the ceiling. Slight bend in the knee, we're gonna crawl it up. And you're gonna hold in this forward fold position for just a second. Now release the head down, shake the neck out, and you're going to grab your opposite elbows with the opposite hands, gently pull those shoulders down, and just sway from side to side right here. Great job, everybody. And now from here, we are going to release those hands back down and gently crawl back up vertebrae by vertebrae, coming up to standing. I'll come to the center so you can see me. Release those arms towards your sides and give me three shoulder shrugs going back. Two, one, and forward for three, two, one. Now come into a little bit of a wider position here and we're gonna go into a side lunge with the arm overhead. So lean over to your left, relax this elbow down on the knee and bring that arm overhead, feeling that stretch in the oblique. So take a nice breath in. As you exhale, let everything go and stretch out just a little bit further, leaning down more into that stretch and pressing into that heel. Hold here for three, two, one, and come back towards the center gently for me. Give me one shoulder shrug while we're here and come over to that other side, gently coming down, that knee stays in front of the toe in a 90 degree angle and bring that arm overhead and stretch out and just breathe right here. Take a nice breath in and as you release, bring it down just a little bit further. If you want, you can release this arm in front and you'll feel that stretch out in the shoulder. Again, whatever's comfortable for you. This is your day, guys. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Come back towards the center for me. Now we're gonna point those feet outward and we're gonna forward fold to the front, releasing that head down. Now walk those hands over to the right side, grasping gently your toes and you're gonna feel the stretch out in the back of your calves, your hamstrings, as well as the inner thigh. So just feel that stretch, release that head, Release all the tension, hold here for three, two, and one. Now gently creep those hands back towards the center and come over to the left side. Doing the same thing we did there, just breathing and focusing on the muscle that's stretching out. Um, feel that tension release. I know my legs were on fire this week, so this is actually really great. I'm glad we're doing this and it's good that you put the time aside to do it too. This is super important. All right, come back towards the center for me and gently bring those toes back in and come up vertebrae by vertebrae and come back to the end of your mat for me. We're gonna inchworm down and go back into that downward dog. So come back into that high plank position for me and send those hips up towards the sky. Now extend that right leg down into a high plank, bring the knee in, back out towards the ceiling now open up that hip and feel that stretch out and the hip flexor. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. As you exhale, bring that leg down and we're gonna come into that high plank. Back to that downward dog, extend that left leg high. Bring that knee in, back out towards the sky and release that hip. Woo! That feels good. This is one of my absolute favorite stretches. Just hold it here, everybody. This is a really good one for opening up the hip flexors, especially if you're sitting at a desk all day. And take a breath in. And as you exhale, release that leg back down. Come into that high plank. Back to that chaturanga. So bring those elbows in towards the waist. Tuck those toes under all the way down. Lift up really quick and release it back down. We're gonna go into a butterfly stretch. So those knees are gonna come out towards the side and gently bring your arms behind and grasp your feet. Now lift up, stretching those quads and hold here, facing in front. 
Head in line with your neck. Hold. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release down. And when you inhale, bring it back up. Hold here for three, two, and one. Release those legs down. Hopefully that felt great. I like that one. And release those legs to the mat. Now bring your hands below the armpit and come up into a cobra stretch. Come up as high as you feel is comfortable. And from here, we're going to twist over to the right and just feel that stretch out in the opposite shoulder. Good job, as far as you wanna go. And come back towards the center and stretch it out towards the other side. Hold here. Breathe in. Breathe out, face forward. Lift up and come back down. Gently into that tabletop position. Back to that child's pose. And just wiggle it out. Come back to the center for me. And back to the center of your mat. Good job, everybody. I hope that felt really great, especially after the 26 days that we've done prior to this where we were taxing and tearing the muscles. This is a great routine to do before or after workouts so that you can help reduce muscle soreness the next day, repair those muscles. You do need a rest and recovery day. So when I rest and recover, I like to do something active, a little dynamic, so that I'm still moving my body, but I know that I'm not taxing and tearing things so much. I'm actually getting time to repair the muscles so that they can grow, so that they can get more so that they can get stronger. It does make a difference, so don't skip out on these. And I will see you for day 28. We've got three days to go. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do that now. And you'll get the notifications for the rest of the transformation program, which is also all in a playlist if you did want to do day one to day 26. And then I've got more in store for next month, so stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Have a great day.